Well, when I was on an airplane for the very first time, I remember quite well. I saw on the window shield how the raindrops were starting to, uh, to accelerate when the machine accelerated and when it took off. And I thought, uh, what a powerful machine this is. These powerful machines emit more than two million tons of carbon dioxide every single day, making a destructive impact on our environment. The need to reduce these emissions is of the uttermost urgency. Well, the goal of the Bionic Aircraft Project is certainly to um, contribute to the reduction of emissions uh, by applying additive manufacturing technologies, by applying uh, bionic design principles uh, to structural parts and thereby um, decreasing the weight of the components. Bionic design takes nature as its inspiration. Living organisms are known for their remarkable material efficiency. It is through using as little mass as possible that they are able to protect themselves from physical harm. Nature in, in that case gives us proven concepts um, throughout millions of uh, uh, years of evolution to give us a blueprint of what can be possible. We have the microstructure of butterflies, which will be transferred into uh, volume infill structures that are lightweight. Honeycomb structure as a surface stiffening structure. We can it, uh, make it more resistant to compressive loads. We have the grass stalk structure to improve strut-like structures and make them more resistant to bending, more resistant to compressive loads. To automate the design process, a software toolset has been developed that is capable of parametizing the bionic features. As a consequence, a design can be converted to a CAD model with just one click of a mouse, ready to be printed. In this case, we're working with a process of laser powder bed fusion as an additive manufacturing process. The main advantage is that we are building up the parts layer by layer um, and uh, use uh, nearly 100% of the material. Studies have shown that the powder can be recycled multiple times without any loss in quality. In order to verify the quality, a camera-based system is used to perform a 3D topographical analysis of the powder bed and the manufactured part. The 3D printed parts are now ready for use. The T-mounting fitting goes inside the belly of the aircraft and the aileron jack actuator bracket is used for the wings. Further testing techniques and repair strategies contribute towards the increased service life of these components. We are achieving up to 35% lighter components uh, as compared to standard manufacturing processes. Through additive manufacturing, there's so much more possible with regard to complex structures um, and organic designs. We are kind of pioneers in this technology. Within the next five to 10 years, we will see a lot more of additive manufactured and bionic design parts flying in aircrafts.